Hey, the first poem, The Cow's Lament, author I name, was broadcast on the Science Show on Radio National. I felt the real loser was the bull, and he deserved a poem of his own. Of his own. Okay, artificial insemination of the cow's lament. I have just given birth to a calf, sir, and with motherly pride I am full. But pray do not laugh, and please do not chaff when I tell you I've not had a bull. The farmyard's a drearier place, sir. The meadows are no longer gay, since the one bit of fun in the year's dismal run has by science been taken away. Bloody science. No bull has embraced me with passion. I've not had the ghost of a binge. I haven't been loved. I've been ruthlessly shoved by a girl with the flaming syringe. <laughs> you may say that's all very well, sir. There are some things a cow should not say. But those veterinary tarts who play with our parts, they still get it the old-fashioned way. <laughs> <laughs> so I felt that the real loser was the bull rather than the cow so I wrote the bull's despair a rejoinder <laughs> they say I'm a champion bull sir my genes are the best ones to sow my brothers all got the unkindest cut but with pride I still swing to and fro <laughs> I don't understand that my grandfather told me his exploits of springtime's the natural way he and his mates would rush through the, through the gates and see how many cows they could lay <laughs> now I've found I've found some thousands of calves, sir. Yet I've not seen a flesh and blood heifer. For me, it's a vet with a latex pipette in a fiberglass cow that they proffer. Oh. Darwin showed us behaviours passed down, sir. We need romance to help us beget. If this practice adheres for the next thousand years, bulls will lust for the most skilful vet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.